Hi everybody, I'm Mike Vondruska. I appreciate you watching, thank you. In this video, I want to showcase a place that's in what I call the back roads of Mexico. It's found in the south part of the state of Puebla. I really enjoyed visiting this place. It's a vast outdoor reserve of cactus, as far as the eye can see. I think you're gonna enjoy it, so sit back, watch, and let's take a look. There is a protected natural area in the southern region of Puebla State in Mexico, which also flows into the northern regions of the state of Oaxaca, and it's one of the most biodiverse zones in all of North America. It's home to 70% of the flora families found worldwide and has some 3,000 different species of plants. One of the most prominent species is the Kulnar cacti, which are slender in shape and can grow upwards of 20 meters or 65 feet. In fact, this wonderland of biodiversity is populated by the densest Kulnar cactus forest in the entire world. As far as the eye can see on low rolling hills, you can spot thousands of these slender plants. After witnessing this awesome sight, some people have commented that they look like many pins stuck into the ground. Not many travelers really know about this protected region, which is located approximately four hours southeast of Mexico City, two hours southeast of the city of Puebla, and less than three hours northwest of the city of Oaxaca. The name of this region is called the Teoacan Cuitcatlan Biosphere Reserve. Teoacan and Cuitcatlan are the two major towns that this reserve falls in between. And it's huge, this reserve is huge. It comprises more than 490,000 hectares, which is approximately 1,211,000 acres of land and it's found in the mountain range called the Sierra Madre del Sur. It's a chain that's mostly consisting of uh, mountains of elevation under 3,000 meters or less than 10,000 feet. The climate there is arid to semi-arid with usually a moderate amount of rainfall in the summer months. And it's so prominent that in 2018, this reserve was designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Within this massive biosphere reserve, there's a smaller reserve and it's called the Helia Bravo Hollis Botanical Garden. Unlike in many botanical gardens that create imitations of ecosystems from other places, all the plants in this reserve are in their original environment. This is primarily a cactus reserve with carved out walking paths for people to see the different plants in this area, which contains over 80 species of cacti. And in those 80 species, about 10% are endemic to this region. Endemic means that you're not gonna find these species of cacti anywhere else in the world, except in this region of Southeast Puebla and Northwest Oaxaca. On the site, there are also some simple cabins for rent and an area for tent camping as well as bringing your travel trailer. Okay, you're probably asking what is or who is Helia Bravo Hollis? Well, Helia was a Mexican woman who lived in the 1900s. She became a well-respected biologist and botanist who dedicated her life to the study of cacti in Mexico. In the 1950s, she helped to establish the Mexican Society of Cactology. And because of her extensive research over her lifetime, six different species of cacti have been named in her honor. The closest community to this botanical garden is called Zapotitlan Salinas. And the people from this community are actually the caretakers of this botanical garden. They have knowledgeable guides who can lead you on tours to educate folks about the reserve, the different species of cacti, and of course the conservation of this land. You should note that it's required to have one of their guides to accompany any group that wants to go on a nature walk through the Jalea Bravo Hollis Botanical Garden. 
The guide fee is about 100 pesos per person, more or less, and the entrance fee is approximately 50 pesos per person. I'd highly recommend that you bring Mexican pesos as most likely they're not going to accept credit cards. I could be wrong on that, but it's always good to be prepared, so bring pesos. Those women get together in the morning and they walk up and down the street that I live on here in, in the state of Veracruz and, uh, and they just have a good time. As you can see, they're wearing masks. So you, uh, if you're watching this video, not in 2020, you can think back to those days, but that's what's happening right now. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video uh, about the Halea Bravo Hollis Botanical Garden. If you want more information, I'm going to leave their link, their website link below in the description. So feel free to check it out. If you have questions, contact me. I'd be happy to help you too. If you like the videos like this, then please uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Press the little bell so you can stay in touch. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And as I say here in Mexico, Nos vemos pronto. We'll see you soon.